Today, I will be discussing the six principles of design. First, we have focal point, also can be emphasis. Focal points are areas of interest, emphasis, or difference within a composition that captures and holds the viewer's attention. Focal points or emphasis can be what sticks out in design. Basically, it's whatever catches the reader's eye and it's what reels them in to look at more of the design. Contrast, it refers to the arrangement of opposite elements. Light versus dark, rough versus smooth, large versus small. There's so many others. See with this design, you can see the examples is you see a leaf in the darkness but with a little bit of light. You see the way how a fish is swimming in a river or lake, whatever it can be, with the sun, sun setting or rising. And in the middle you can see contrast between the three circles, the dark circle, and it goes lighter from then on. Next we have balance. Balance is the visual distribution of visual weight, colors, texture, and space. The design would be stable if put on a scale, as you can see in the middle example. And in this, it's just basically talking about symmetry. A little, it, it symmetry is involved a little bit, as in the example we have on the right. But all in all, it's if it can stay balanced. Next, we have movement, the path the viewer takes through the art. The path sometimes leads to focal points, and it can be anything from a road to a line. As you can tell from the three examples we have here, they look similar as the first and second one, as they're just like a spiral staircase. And in the first image, it, tells, it shows you what it looks like from a 3D perspective. Next, we have rhythm and pattern. Pattern is the repeating of an object or symbol throughout the entire design. Rhythm is when one or more elements of design are used repeatedly to create emotions. Variety is essential in keeping rhythm exciting and active. With the three images we have here, you can see in the very left that nine squares are used as the main point of view in the art, but to make the squares, they use squares. It's hard to explain, but if... Uh, Basically, it's like that. It's what the rhythm is. And then the second example, we have a pattern of what looks like to be boats. But it could be anything. It could be desk. It could be computers. And then the third example, we have a bunch of arrows, which is an example of rhythm that are pointing to one orange arrow pointing up. And all these arrows are symboling that they're just pointing out the difference. Next, we have unity. And unity is just the feeling of everything in the design flowing smoothly and together. There are three different kinds of examples we have here. I have the three triangles example is the first one, which that always confused me because I never knew how it worked. But after looking through it, you can just tell by the different kinds of designs. Because it can use both balance and uh, movement. Because if you imagine a little ball on there moving around each. And you don't know where it's going to end up. And then in the second design, you see just a bunch of squiggly lines turning into one big design. It looks like a bunch of different shapes. But that looks... It, like it can be both movement, balance, rhythm, and pattern. Oh, and of course unity. And the third one we have is, looks to be like a sunflower, or just a flower in general. But you can tell how all the objects come together to make it. And here are my resources. My main, use, my main used resource would be the last one. It just gave me examples, and it told me what all of them were about. Thank you.
and have a good day.